Hello everybody, Charlie here. Welcome back to Prison Architects Warden Mode. Uh, in this episode, I want to get people set up with their own individual cells. And so right now I'm like planning out the cell block and how that's going to go. I think it's going to go one, two, three, wall. So that needs to go one more out. So I want the wall here. So we're going to go one, two, three, the four will be the wall. And this is be where the final cells are. This is going to be expandable. We're not going to build this whole thing right now. But we are going to get sort of the whole layout sort of planned out. Actually, I think it can go all the way there. So, All right, so this gives us expandability if we build the cell blocks like this. This also allows us to get them a direct path to the canteen on this side as well as on this side and then eventually maybe even on this side so they could all get into the canteen through separate entrances, which is nice. We're not going to have them do that necessarily, though. We're going to try to direct traffic a bit here because a new feature in warden mode allows you to direct traffic. I can say I want prisoners to go only one direction through this door and only one direction through a different door. So I'm actually going to have them going into the canteen through one of these doors and out of the canteen through another one of these doors. Uh, and then I'll have a staff only path where I can go through so I don't have to go through the same walkways as the prisoners. But that's going to be something that I work on uh, in the future. So for now, we need to get this started because I want people in individual cells. So let's go ahead and build this. Uh, let's maybe have it. I don't want to do I don't need to do all of it, but I do need to have enough of it done so that we can have the prisoners that we have plus a, one more intake. So I think we're going to go about like this. And then we're going to take and go with a large jail door there. Now, of course, I've got this whole place fenced off. Let's speed it up just a little bit so I can move around. Uh, I've got the whole place fenced off, of course. So even prisoners who want to come this way to get into their cell block, they're not going to be able to like leave. They're not going to be able to get out because uh, it is all fenced off all the way out to here. And this is the reason why I fenced it out re like really far out. So I had room to expand while still also having the prison closed up. Uh, so, based on this layout, the canteen will eventually be out here, and I'm kind of thinking of just going ahead and doing that right now. Yeah, I'm thinking about just doing that right now. Probably need to just do this. This will replace the wall, I think, which is kind of what I want to do. Unless that doesn't allow me to do that anymore. It's fine, I'll just demolish the wall. I didn't do it right again. So here's our prisoners right here. We've got low sec, we got low sec people and a bunch of medium sec people as well as a gang member. And it's, they're not that dangerous yet. Although this guy might be. I can't see his character traits yet. Um, Cause I don't have the psychologist and I don't have um, information and stuff on them like, like that yet. But we're gonna get that going too. There's a lot of things I wanna get done in this episode. Uh, researching groundskeeping and bureaucracy is almost done. So I'm going to go ahead and hire those guys as soon as that's completed. Which is 97, 98, 99. And we can go ahead and grab a gardener. Let's get two gardeners and two janitors. Done. So now we get the money for that. Nice. We still need to do visitation rooms. And basically, I want to have these two done by the end of this. Oh, there's also, yeah, there's a family ready to visit too, yep. Uh, the, the idea behind this, of course, is that you are the warden and you are moving around. As such, this prison is going to expand much slower than previous series. It's just, just the way it is. We've got a lot of wood here. I almost want to get them to store it someplace. Like, I don't know about, like, an exports area, because that just means they're going to sell it all. We need a storage room, I think, is probably the best place, so... How about we grab a storage room? We can get one maybe right here for now. This is a pretty decently sized storage room here. And let's get them to have a staff door on this side and also one on this side. And then we'll have them prioritize this so I can get a storage area going. We could probably also just market a storage now instead of having to wait. But they're hopefully going to store all that all that wood there. We are eventually going to have a workshop. And that workshop, I think I want it to be right here. It's right next to the prisoner's cells. And it just seems like a decent fit. Maybe a little bit closer to the, to the road. But you guys know the drill. We've done this twice already. We want them to be intaked over there. Get them out of the way. Get the prisoners out of the way. And then do all of our exports and stuff down here. And the workshop stuff down here. 
they have a lot of work to do on these trees yet before we can get this place constructed. So I'm just going to speed up time to three times speed right now and just let them kind of go to work as fast as possible here. We're finally getting the place cleaned up, which should be good for our staff morale. Staff morale is at 66%. That's kind of a... That's kind of a thing. Let's uh, check out why. We can't see needs yet because we don't have the psychologist. I really don't want the psychologist to have an office in this little block, but I think I might have to do it just so I can see stuff. So let's give him an office here. He's not where he's going to stay, but we're going to give him an office here for now. Congratulations, you have an office. Now, let me see needs so I can tell why my morale is so low. It's bladder. They don't have a place to poo? They don't have a place to poo. <laughs> I never built this. This is where that was going to be. So let's get a staff door put in here. And I do want to prioritize that. And then we're going to get a bathroom area set up for the staff. So how about we go... Let's see, toilet, door, walkway. So maybe like something like this will be fine. You can go in like this. Let's do it like that. And then again, I want to prioritize that because I want to get the bathrooms going. We'll work the plumbing and stuff in there too. We got to fix that morale, man. That's, that's pretty bad. I had a cell block kind of planned out up here. But I changed my mind, and I'm putting it down there instead. So I'm not really sure what's going to happen with this area, but I would kind of ignore the floor plan for now because of that. Ah, I can't get back in. I can't get back in. It's okay. I can still kind of see in there. So maybe it'll be all right. Let's slow down time a bit here. We can actually pause it if I want to, just to kind of get the stuff working. So uh, we should be able to put in the toilet. One, two, three... Four. Perfect. It did space it out right. Sink. Kind of like in here, like this side. It's good enough. Also a bin, because why not? And then uh, what I want to do here is take the brick walls, bring them out this way. I have to move those lights conveniently enough. Great. Great stuff there. Uh, is this good enough? I think we're going to go one more. Yeah. And then we're going to put doors like this. So it's like they have their own individual stalls. That's probably pretty good. Let's go ahead and prioritize that. I can go in through this door, which I had to install. With this expansion, these new cell expansion, we're probably going to need another one of these. So I'm going to drop one down there right now. Just to make sure we have enough. We also need to run those electrical lines out into the cell block. So if I get the electrical to run this direction... Uh, is that? No, I don't want to do it like that. Um, it instead should be out here, right? So we should go like this. And then down the middle. Uh, and then over this direction. Uh, or not. Because these cells are facing each other and these are facing out. Eh. Not sure which way they're going to be facing, but I'm pretty sure I need to do this at least. And then eventually they'll run down this way too, but we don't need to do that just yet. Danger's going up, and it's because of what? Prisoners have serious complaints. What's the needs? Recreation and family time. Yeah, well, we're working on that. Bowels and bladder, big, big deal. And now that these are installed, I'm gonna go ahead and mark the deployment on this as staff only. And then we need to run the plumbing, of course. So let's make sure they got that hooked up. Get on that, guys. Hopefully that works it out, and our staff can stop being upset at me. 48% morale. Really need to get that going quick. Is that their only complaint? Is it just the ball? Yeah, it's really just the bowels and bladder. Once this gets sorted out, they'll sh they should be fine. But this is all staff only now, so the staff should use these. As soon as there's plumbing out hooked up to it, they should use it. So these three should start getting used like pretty quick. And there they go. The guard is already in there now. So that should start bringing the morale back up. Already 50%. 51, 53, 54. Yes. Good. That's what we needed. Okay, now let's work on the prisoner's needs. Prisoner stuff is food, which they're going to have mealtime any minute now. Hopefully they have enough. I hope. 
Uh, they're also going to need some family recreation time. I also want to get a guard deployed in here at all times so we can always make sure they're not digging, right? So one guard in here is enough to make sure they don't dig. We're going to get all the, all the cells worked out here. Now, I don't want to waste resources, so uh, probably what I should do, slow down time just a little bit here, is let's mark out where the doors are going to be here so I don't mess with and accidentally make them the wrong way. So the doors are going to be on this side. Uh, on this side, actually, no, I'm going to switch it up. Only reason why is I don't want the cell door to be right next to the store. It's just a stylistic preference. It doesn't really matter, but I'm going to do it anyway. Okay, so one major problem I'm seeing right now is that our large pipe actually runs through this area. So I, I, need, I do need to move this pipe because otherwise they're going to have like a really close path to this. That being said, though, they can't really go anywhere. Like, not anywhere meaningful. If they get into this pipe, they're just going to go straight this way, which accelerates them towards the middle of the prison, I suppose. They are going to be blocked by this, so this pipe does not continue. So they're going to have to stop here if they get there. So most likely they're going to dig this direction with it, so they can get closer to the outside. And it's not really that much closer to the outside. I might be okay with this, but eh, it's kind of needless to have the pipe run this way. So I can at least get rid of this pipe here, like this. And I suppose I could just leave the rest, because it's not really that much acceleration there, and this pipe is definitely stopping there. So We're going to have to reconnect the electrical once they remove that pipe. Because still, this game does not let you target a specific utility on a square. You have to remove all utilities on that square. Okay, so now I'm just going to go ahead and put in the items in the cells. I'm not really going to deviate from the design I had before. Other than, I sort of like it to have the toilet at the foot of the bed now. I'm going to change it to where the toilets are at the foot of the bed. And I'm also moving the bed so that it's not in line with the door. All right, so while the workmen is getting on, are getting on that, I've got all the cells laid out now. While the workmen are getting on that, um, I want to get... I think I'm going to spend a little bit of our money on tax relief. This has exponential gains. Uh, I say that, but it's probably not the right terminology for that. But it's essentially the earlier we get this, the more this is worth. So I'm going to get grab that. And then I think I'm also going to grab the prison policy. And I'm also going to grab intelligence. And then I want to grab, uh, I want I wanted to grab health, but I'm starting to think that I don't need that quite yet. The prison's not that, um, not that violent yet. So health might not be a concern just yet. We will have grants for that, and we can actually accept another grant right now if we want to. Uh, we can actually research patrols for this, and then I think I'll do this. So let's do the security verification or certification, and then I need to grab patrols which is here. So we'll grab that too. So lots of stuff. I'm Like I said, we're going to be doing this a lot slower. Um, so we only have 13 prisoners right now. And eventually they're all going to have their own cells, which is kind of what we're working on now. I think it's time to start putting in the doors. They're moving me as they run into me. We should have a metal detector in this area. So I'm going to grab this. These are really expensive. I'm going to try and not use them if I don't have to, but they're really expensive. I am also going to need them here as well, so I think I'll have to do that. I don't really have a choice in that. This is already hooked up to power, which is good. I think... Uh, yeah. Yeah, we're fine. I, I was thinking about, like, security-wise, like, if it's good to have this not have a door and... I think for now it's fine. This will probably get closed off later on. Uh, it might get closed off completely to where there is not even a door here. That would force the holding cell to have to move around another way, though. But right now, they have plenty of food. I'm just kind of analyzing their food situation right now to make sure they have it. And it looks like, to me, we have spare meals. One spare meal. Which is pretty good, I guess. All right, I'm going to get out of the prisoner area. Uh, I don't have permadeath on, like I told you guys before. Permadeath is... Uh-oh. Yeah, okay, maybe we do need health. <laughs> it's so expensive, though. I don't want to do health because it's really expensive right now. Where do I put it, even? Where do I put their health thing? Um, 
doctor's office should be not near the staff room like that, but I guess it'll probably be up here. Let's slow this down a bit here. If I make the health area like this, we'll have the bed. That's one bed. Space, two bed. Space, three bed. Yeah, we'll probably make it a little bit longer. This will be the hospital. Double check here really quick. Bed, 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 bed. And then we can put like a doctor's desk or something. We'll go one more just because. We'll go two more, why not? So the, the objects will be like this in this row and then there'll be a desk in the center like right here. Okay, we'll build this. I didn't really want to yet, but we'll go ahead and do it. Let's make sure it's a... Eh, I think it's going to be a staff door here. And we're going to make it to be like there. For some reason I can't build it there. Is it because of the tree? Let's get that done, guys. Come on. We need a place to make sure that people like this who are unconscious can get healed, I guess. Since they want to kick off and be dangerous all the time. Also need to make sure this is hooked up to power. Apparently it's not. So we'll get on that as well. And then these should be ready to go. These should be cells and ready to rock. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn them on. We've got hot water. We've got toilets and hot water on all the cells. And then we all we need to do then is just to put a, uh, a radiator on one of these lines. That's probably gonna be like right here in the middle. There we go. So let's get a radiator put in there. Pretty much right where I'm standing. Let's go ahead and get it marked as cells, and we'll want to get some deployment in here as well. So we'll want to make sure that guards are in here all the time to kind of watch the place. We'll do these eight for now, and by eight I mean uh, <laughs> 14. We'll do these for now, and let's make sure that there's always a few guards in here to kind of patrol the area. Uh, I think we probably need to hire a few more guards, too. It's getting a little dangerous, so let's grab a couple of more. We're now losing $6 a day. I want to keep us in the black. I don't want red, like, ever. So, like, this $6 here is a bit of an issue. But now that we have some individual cells we can work with, I can probably turn intake back on a little bit. So maybe we take another uh, number per day. Take another five or six. Let's go with six. That should help us out. Once this is built, they, they already got the trees taken out. Good. Let's grab a staff door and put it there. Doesn't really matter where. I'm also going to want to have an office desk. I think the doctors should have an office. you know, a, a, a chair or something where they can make their notes and stuff. Seems, seems like a good idea to me. Let's put the radiator there to keep the place warm. We also need to hook it up to hot water, so it's going to be there. And we can probably just run this line straight up. Probably. I think that should, be, that should do it. We'll need electricity over here too, so we can run this up that way. That should be enough, I think, to hook up all the lights. I'm hoping. And then we're going to want to grab health, so we'll grab that now. I should have grabbed that already, but I didn't. Tax relief is coming. Once tax relief hits, we should be good in the black too, once we get tax relief done. Prisoners are in their cells. Good. Probably turn on the other cell too. Yeah, we'll turn these cells on too. This is going to raise our capacity and our grant is complete. So there we go. Capacity is up. So now we need to look at visitation because that's the main source of their big temperature problems is the visitation. We could make this area here a visitation area. We kind of don't want the visit visitors to have to walk by the holding cells, but maybe that's okay. We'd have to double think our, we have to rethink our, our yard then, like where we want our yard to be. Maybe the yard goes this way instead. Maybe this is our yard. I need to get over there though. <laughs> the biggest, the biggest thing I have with this is also the novelty of it is that I have to move to the locations to, to like build. We're going to have to need it. We're going to need another one of these. 
It's like, I don't really like it. <laughs> I don't really like that I have to move to the locations to build things, but that's also kind of the novelty of the whole place, so. Let's go like this with it. And then over like that. And then the fence will end up being like this instead. Or we go a little bit further. How I want visitation, I think, this whole area, though. Yeah, I think the whole area needs to be visitation. So we'll do a fence like this. This will be the yard now, for now. We could even extend it just a little bit further if we wanted to. Maybe out like this. And then we need to get rid of this fence. So we'll take and demolish this wall. And this wall, which is going to open the whole place up. So I have to wait for them to get this fence done. So let's make sure this fence is now your new priority. We're going to want to take and put in our hospital beds in here. But we can't do that yet. Also, laundry is something we really need to think about. Because clothing is going to be a problem. I don't have that done yet. So we need to work that out. Maybe right next to this. Move this way and do the laundry here. The the really interesting part about warden mode I'm finding right now is that you cannot plan ahead. You kind of just have to build as you go. You can't you can't zoom out and see what you want to do. And this is gonna annoy a lot of people, I think, if they when they try this mode. I think a lot of people are not gonna like this mode because of that. I mean, I'm not a fan of that. I'm not, I'm not a fan of the fact that I can't zoom out. But I understand why it's I understand why it exists. I understand why it's, you know, what needs to happen. What needs to, to, to be. I think this should probably consider moving that now. I don't think the prisoners are actually going to ruin the water boiler, though. Why would you ruin your source of hot water for the whole prison? I guess just to spite me? Just to say, hey, warden, look what I can do. <laughs> Maybe. Let's get rid of this fence. And this fence can go, yep. Yep, so all of this needs to be taken down now, too. And then we'll be good to go. Then we'll build the visitor center, I think, right here. I kind of want to shift this water over against this building now. Because it's kind of in my way of where I want my visitor center. But if I make the visitor center just this bit, it's probably good enough for now. So that's where we're going to go. We just got intake. Six new prisoners are in. I'm not going to know anything about them because <laughs> I don't have the ability to know. We have health now, so that means we can actually get our medical beds in place. So medical beds can go there, there. Let's make three for now. We have room for more, but let's just make three for now. And then we're also going to want a doctor, which I can't do because I can put her here. So that's one doctor. That's enough for now, I think, unless the grant requires two. Let's see what the grant wants. Uh, Grant. Uh, two doctors. So really all I need now is to click this for the grant. Put this as the medical ward. Infirmary. That's fine. And then hire another doctor. And that is complete. As soon as they put these beds in, which we're going to put as a priority too. Now I'm trapped in here. <laughs> now I'm freaking trapped in here. <laughs> Demolish this wall. I, have de I demand you let me out. Workmen, on the double. <laughs> Get me out of here. I can't move out of this little area. I've trapped myself. I think that's going to happen a lot. I, I think I'm going to get trapped in here a, a lot. Let's also make sure that this yard is really marked as a yard for like everybody here so they can all do what they need to do. And we'll unmark this as a yard. There we go. So you guys can just wander about over there. I want some deployment. I want some people over there. So we make sure that uh, they're not going to do too bad of a deal. There's only a few prisoners. There's not a lot. So I'm, I'm hoping that my minimal skeleton crew staff can handle a lot of this. I really want to move this over. Is that going to be a pain in the ass to do? I don't think so, actually. Uh, we're going to do it right now. Let's dismantle this. I'm going to move it over. The pipe can stay, but this unit needs to be put over here. I need it out of my way. It's going to disconnect the water to the entire prison. Yay! Let's just do that while the temperature is rising. Perfect. 
Move this here, please. Or don't. Why? Oh, what? Ugh. The stumps. The stumps, I tell you. Uh, can we activate that mod, I wonder? Do I dare activate a mod? I kind of think I do. That mod is the reason why... Like, or that's the reason I got this mod. This is, a. Uh, where is it? No stump. I'm gonna put this on and see if that actually affects the game adversely. Yeah, the sprite sheet's downscaled, but there should be no stump. Dumped tree stumps, yes. These tree stumps should be able to get out of here now. The sprites, I'm probably gonna have to reload the game because of the sprites being downscaled now. Like, look at how terrible the warden looks. It's incredibly pixelated now. But, uh, if I reload the game, it should be fine. But let me just get this stump done. It's gone, good. Utilities, water pump put it there and then we're gonna take this large pipe and kind of do that with it it looks a little funny but it'll do okay I'm gonna reload the game so that the graphics are back to actually being high resolution <laughs> welcome back fam and there we go we're back to back to our nice sharp edges and the electricity's all hooked up water's getting hooked up hopefully any minute now and that was a fairly painless transition, but now it opens up the possibility to have a bigger visitor center that I want. So let's pause this a little bit, or at least slow it down. Let's grab planning lines and see where we need to do to make this happen. If I go this way with it, about like that is what I wanted. If I do this big, take this wall out, what does this give me in terms of like visitors tables and stuff? I'm, I'm really thinking about maybe having, uh, hmm, like I'm wondering if there's a way for me to have like these other ones. Oh, I don't have that mod installed anymore, do I? No, this, the visitor booths. They're extremely expensive, and so I probably won't do it now, but like this it prevents contraband from ever getting in. Like they can't pass things through this booth. I think for now, though, I don't have the resources for that. So this is the three by two. So if I plan this out to be, let's say, uh, three by two, three by two, like that, all the way through the middle. But we have a... There. Yep. We have a path there. If I do this as my visitor's area, that's not a bad deal, right? Eh, I think I do need to move it over though. Let's let's make the space in the middle. Yeah, okay. We are gonna we are gonna confirm this though. So build this brick building here. And then I want you to make the doorway. Uh, let's do staff door here. So staff can get in through this visitor's entrance. But I don't want the prisoners going from the yard in. And then uh, actually, right there is probably not the best spot for that. If I right-click this, I'm pretty sure it removes the entire foundation that I've put in. So that's not worth it. For now, that's not worth it. Let's open this door. Probably should think about getting remote doors soon, too. It's not the biggest of priorities, but it's kind of a pain in the butt to have to, like, wait around for the doors. Foundation is in. That's where the door is. We're gonna have another door over here, but I think we want the visitor's door and stuff to be maybe there. There. Okay. So with this little visitor center area, I wanna go with the brick wall, of course, here. I think I want that staff door to be on all the way over here on this side, or we can line it up with where the tables are gonna be. It's kind of probably a smarter idea. So visitor's table, we can go one, Two, space three, space four. That doesn't allow us to line it up very well, though. If I go space here, I have to put a space between them, though, don't I? Don't I have to do that? I guess I don't remember how that works. Like, are they going to be able to get in between the tables if I put them right next to each other? I guess I don't. I never really thought about that. Either way, um, I'm going to put these long way like this. Uh, yeah, like this. Then we'll space this out. 
Uh, yeah, like that. Two spaces. I probably should move this, but it's okay. Ah, well, I went a little long there, but I guess it doesn't matter. We'll go ahead and cancel this one, and then we'll put this like that instead. Fine. It's fine. We'll space this out, too, because we can. Okay. All right, so that's our visitor's area. Let's go ahead and mark it as a room. Visitation. Indoors. Visitor's room. Done. We have it. We have visitors, or we can make we can have visitors at least if we want to. We're gonna need a, a common room and all that stuff. This is a huge visitors area, but it's it's meant for you know like longer term. It's expandable. Same thing with the infirmary being there. Do we have to do anything else there? Assign three guards to patrol routes. Cool. So deployment, guard patrols. All right. We'll have one guard patrol be through this these cells here. Like that I guess one. We can actually just do it like this. Done. But uh, I will have one guard at least doing that. I also want another guard to be patrolling through here. Because if I make the guard patrol through here, he'll also be opening these doors regularly, which is nice. And then I want deployment. I want to have somebody... I think if I had another guard here, that would actually take care of the door problem, wouldn't it? If we have a guard here the whole time? I think so. Let's get the guy off this patrol. We'll just deploy him to this area instead. And that, that way, this, these doors can constantly have somebody here to open them. There's the visitors, but they're coming through here. Why? Is it because... Yeah, it's because of this. Alright, I need to close this off. I want visitors coming through here. I also need metal detectors at the entrance. So maybe we'll put, pop them there like that. So they have, everyone goes through metal detectors as they come in. Uh, I want to go... Yeah, they're all leaving through the kitchen. That's not what I want at all. Let's get fenced areas. Uh, hmm, deliveries are going to have to be... Yeah. Yeah, deliveries is going to be a problem. Well, it doesn't have to be. If we go... Like, if I just... If I pop this fence here like this... And we go all the way down to about here with it... And then we make a staff door. Let's say here. And here. This creates three doors to go through as opposed to two doors to go through. So I think that will take care of that. I, I hope that will take care of that. Okay. Now this will be tra changing deliveries too. So deliveries is gonna be, that's a dormitory, delivery. There we go. Change deliveries out and put it here instead. Let's actually not have this path be deliveries. Eh, you know what, whatever, it's fine. All the way down like this. Okay, so big deliveries area, which is, has an airlock area here and then we can also mark this as access only I think like that there we go and we'll make this also staff only once the fence is completely built which hopefully is gonna be very very soon any minute now there we go staff only there let's make the storage area staff only too we need actually electricity running through there apparently I guess I didn't run the electrical that way so what do you guys think of the prison so far? I, I wanted to get this stuff done before the end of the episode, but I'm not sure I can. Also, we have one person waiting solitary confinement. Who is it? That person is needs to have their... That person needs to have their stuff ended. The only reason that's the case is because I don't have solitary yet. So I need to work on that as well. <laughs> so, uh, where are we gonna do with, what are we going to do solitary at? You could do it down here, but I kind of wanted this to be able to be expanded more. More cells. Oh, you got to be kidding me. I forgot all the drains. There we go. Visitation probably should have one of these. They have to walk. Th they don't really have to pass through to do it. I think after leave, I think once they leave the cell or enter the cell block, they should have to go through metal detectors. 
So we'll do that instead. We'll leave this alone. Because visitors pass through it on the way in. And then prisoners will pass through it on their way out of anywhere. So if they come out of the canteen, they're passing through one. They come through the cell blocks, they're passing through four. So like there's at least at some point they're going to be passing through them. That's really the only thing that matters. Do we need more capacitors on the power plant? Let's find out. Come on up. And you know what? We could use at least one more. Probably two, just to be safe. 45 grand is what we got in our money. That's not bad. We're actually making decent money. Do I want to take more prisoners, though? I don't really have the capacity for it. I guess I could get some on the holding cell, though. So we could take this one intake, and then after that, we're going to have to stop intake. Because there's nothing in the holding cell right now. So we can at least have some in there. But we're going to have to end intake after that. I'm going to need more tables and chairs and stuff in here. Tables and benches. So let's put a table there and there. There we go. Okay, we got more. I don't think we need more serving on the serving table. I could be wrong on that, but I don't think we need more. We might want to consider expanding the fridges and stuff because this stuff is kind of getting full. So you might want to think of doing that. So let's kind of grab one more and do that. And then the sink, I think, is fine. We're doing okay on trays and clean trays and stuff, so that's probably fine. I want to see. I want to test this. I don't think it's accurate. I think I'm going to discover that it's broken anyway. But last time, like the last couple of times, we've always had trays all over the place, and there's always these access trays that never get cleaned. I want to see if it's because I have too many sinks. So I'm going to have just one sink here for now to see if that solves that problem. I don't think it will, but it's something I want to test. I've always had two or three sinks in my kitchens and every prison I've ever built. If I just put one sink, do they order more trays according to how many sinks you have? I don't know like how that works. I don't think that's the case. And there's probably going to be somebody who's a know-it-all in the comments telling me why. You're probably already typing, aren't you? I see you. I see you there. You're typing right now. Quit it. Quit it. Let me learn on my own. <laughs> no, seriously. If you know, then let me know. Um, I'm going to take and put another stove in here like that. Then I want to have sprinklers uh, for fires. So let's put a sprinkler like here and here. And I guess we can probably line it up to like this too. But. All right. Let's take a look and see if we... First off, I need to hook those sprinklers up, don't I? I'm going to run this way. Oh, was it this way or that way? Shoot. Uh, it's that way. Okay, good. Okay. So let's see who we got as our prisoners this time around. We've got, uh, Matt Platten. I can't tell. Andrew Witz. Witz. Scott Nash. Mark Burgess. Another gang member, too. Can we see gangs? Yes, we can. Two in blue. Okay, blue's getting an early start in our prison. Great. We probably should get solitary just so we can get informants. That's going to be something I need to work on. Where can I put solitary? I can probably fit in a couple of solitary cells back here for now. That might be an idea. We might also be able to use a little bit of the canteen space for it. Let's go with a 4x3 here. So we have this little extra space here, and I'm wondering if that could be used for solitary, like right here. I kind of wanted to use it for like toilets and stuff, but I'm wondering if solitary is the best call for that for now. And by wondering, I mean uh, I'm doing. I'm gonna have a couple of solitary cells here, just for now. We'll take and put solitary doors on these, and we'll call these solitary confinement. It needs to happen at some point, like pretty soon. So we might as well just do it. Okay, we'll have four solitary cells here for now. All right, I think that's gonna do it for this episode. I know, this series is like much slower. I know, um, but look at the nature of it. Let me know what you guys think about it. Give me your honest opinions. What do you think of Warden Mode? What do you think of the series so far? The pacing of it? Is it gonna be too slow? Do you like where it's going? Do you like how it's headed? Let me know. If you guys haven't just subscribed already, consider doing so. It's the button's right there, and it helps the channel a lot. 
You can give me a comment down below. I read every single comment. I really do. And that'll do it, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.